Today I'm going to talk to you about my favourite aspect of my research, which is galaxy evolution as a function of environment. So when I try and tell people about this, the way I like to think about it is the way people are. So everybody says, oh, people are made of stardust. Well, I actually think we're a bit more like galaxies, to be honest with you. So if you imagine on the Earth, we're likely to live in sort of one of three different types of places. We might live in a really big city like London, where it's kind of a bit crazy. We might live in a slightly smaller town of like a few thousand people, say like the one I was brought up in, or we might live basically in the middle of nowhere, so essentially just on our own. Now, when you're in a big city, you can, it's fast-paced, everything's a bit crazy, everything moves really fast. You might bump off someone, they might not even apologise, you know, you might feel a bit harassed. You might actually even lose something, like your jacket might get pulled off or your bag. In a small town, you might see somebody that you know, wave hello, have a bit of a chat, and then off you go together. Whereas if you're on your own in a field, for example, you're just doing your thing, you're just hanging out, you're just chilling. So how's this like galaxies? Well, in a big cluster, which we can think of like our big city, um, the galaxies can smash off each other, but they're moving too quickly to sort of join together. Or they can have their gas stripped, like you might lose your jacket or your bag, say. In a group, which is a slightly smaller cluster, like our small town, you might come together with another galaxy, you stick together, and off you go together. Like when you see your friends and you, you sort of merge, we call it a merging event. Whereas if you're sort of a galaxy on your own, we actually say that you're in the field, which is quite nice because like you might actually live in a house in a field. And you're basically just hanging out, like there's not a huge amount happening to you based on where you are, you're just sort of doing your thing. So I like to think about galaxy evolution as a function of environment in terms of where you might live on the earth, so big cities, small towns, or maybe on your own. And hopefully that is a slightly clearer description of what galaxy evolution actually means when we talk about it as a function of environment. Thank you.